morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alima Sayed. Welcome to A Look Into the Future. In this special broadcast, we will explore what the future will look like and how the chemical industry will contribute to getting there. Today, we will interview a leading academic from the year 2070 to gain an insight into what is to come and explore some of the innovations and initiatives from your industry that will shape the future, our future. Please allow me to introduce Bill Gibson, professor at the Global University in Switzerland. Hello, professor, can you hear me? Yes, Alima, I can. So, hello to everyone at the 13th annual GPCA Forum. Now, I recently presented at the 64th annual GPCA Forum, which, thanks to the technology we have today, was virtually attended by many thousands of people from all over the globe. Professor, perhaps you can tell us what we can do in our present to help shape the future. Ah, well, the, the era you live in is now known as the time of the fourth industrial revolution. The innovations occurring around you right now, like artificial intelligence and blockchain, will reshape the industry you know. These new technologies redefined your industry's business model and enabled new models with immense value potential. Some of your existing business model had either become disrupted or <laughs> become obsolete. But the new technologies have accelerated learnings and leveraged the full potential of data to have more informed decisions, which enabled new services and offerings throughout the product value chain, thus impacting positively all frontiers of your industry. You talk about the full potential of data. Just how important is data to our industry? Hmm. Well, in your very near future, data will emerge as the feedstock of your industry. The new technology sets, including robotics, automation, data science and analytics, will be instrumental in capturing value from data. The speed at which this happens will create quantum leap advances in industrial processes, supply and value chain efficiencies, and foster further innovation. We're literally building the world in which I now live. How did these advancements affect the world of the future in a wider context? As the push your industry is making towards a circular economy is now very real and has paid off in the future. In particular, the work that your industry did to hit zero plastic waste targets by 2050 stands out as a key milestone. And the leadership shown by your industry has been the catalyst that helps create a sustainable, clean, efficient, and prosperous global society. In my time, we all live in smart cities and habitats. But a shining example in your region are Mazda and Neon, truly smart cities with smart principles applied to every component from the buildings themselves to the appliances within. Your industry played a major role in advancing renewable energy technologies to create buildings with net zero energy balance and transportation for enhanced mobility. And now that we've seen how technologically advanced the world has become, what will the future workforce look like? What do we need to do today in order to raise the leaders of tomorrow? Since the dawn of time, growth of societies has been driven by humans and their remarkable skills and talents to drive innovation and enhance productivity. Well, this has not changed in 2070. However, the workforce in my time looks very different than in 2018, consisting of both human and non-human resources working alongside each other. Now, due to advanced automation, many traditional jobs from your time do not exist anymore. However, a hundred million new roles have emerged. Roles adapted to the new division of labor between humans, machines, and algorithms. I can't go into too much detail, but let me just say that without your visionary leadership, investing in the education of your children in the sciences and advancing technology and engineering, the future wouldn't be the same. The work ecosystem in 2070 has changed the who does what concept and eliminated many physical tasks, focusing human intelligence on creative tasks. We have moved to an approach driven by ingenuity 
where uniquely human traits, such as the drive to innovate and to create, have the space to thrive and prosper to the benefit of all. And finally, Professor, when you look back at our industry today, what would you say was the key recipe for success? <laughs> well, Nima, that's the million dollar question that everyone in this room is asking themselves. In short, your present day is characterized by advancements in technology that are outpacing change readiness by industry players. The most successful companies who will survive and thrive in the decades to come are those that embrace their biggest challenges and with speed and scale execute transformation and invest in growth. Companies that are not afraid to adopt a bold approach and embrace change to create value where others see obstacles. Professor, thank you for your time and for sharing a glimpse of our future. <laughs> no, thank, thank you for inviting me back to the past. Now, I wish you all a wonderful time at the annual GPCA Forum. I am truly grateful to be living in the world that you have created for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen what the future may look like. But the truth is, the creators of this future are sitting right here in this room. The young talent, the innovators, the forward thinkers, the thought leaders, and the dreamers. The future lies in the actions of each and every one of us. The future, ladies and gentlemen, is here. The future is now. Thank you very much.